Hi guys, Abs here and welcome to this video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how we can force Google to show results from different Google locations without using proxies. So in the past, it was as simple as going over to Google USA or, go, or going over to Google France or Google UK and getting the results for that Google location. However, if you want to do that now, then you're going to need to use proxies. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you different Google search parameters that are going to allow you to force Force Google to show you results from that location or that country code. Um, so let me just give you an example of exactly what I mean. So I'm going to go over to, let me just make sure I'm recording first. Yes, it's still recording. Brilliant. Okay, so I'm going to go over to google.com forward slash NCR. And what would normally happen from here is this, read because I'm in the because I'm in google.co.uk, this would usually redirect to google.co.uk. But now this is letting me access google.com. However, if you look at this area here, it still shows me as being in the UK location. So if I type in something like um, Chinese restaurant um, near me, um, what you'll notice is I've got areas, Lincoln Road, that's around the corner from my house in Peterborough. Um, we've got Eastfield Road, again, that's around the corner from my house in Peterborough. And as you can see, we've got Peterborough results down here, although we're using google.com. Um, and if we actually go over to google.co.uk, um, and, and we have a look at exactly the same search query, let me just copy this down from here. Um, then what you'll notice um, is we've got exactly the same results. Eastfield Road, Lincoln Road, Lincoln Road, um, maybe slightly different. Um, Sunrise Chinese, Oriental Bites and Shanghai. OK, exactly the same results. Fantastic. Um, OK, so let's just go back over to Google.com. Um, and as you can see, it still shows a location. So what we can do now is we're going to append the URL and we're going to type in. We're going to do a forward slash question mark um, and we're going to do um, GL for Google location equals US. OK, and I'm going to click on enter. And what you can see now is that has gone. OK, the location has now gone from um, my browser. What I can do now is add that same search query, Chinese restaurant near me. And what you'll notice now is now we've got areas in USA. OK, so we're now we've got USA local areas down here, guys, which is brilliant. And you can do this for any location. Let me just give you another example down here, guys, of what I mean. OK, so if we go over to Google um, dot fr. OK, so this is Google France now. As you can see, it still shows my Google location or sorry, it still shows my location down here as United Kingdom. If I type in the same search query, Chinese restaurant near me, as you can see, even though we're on Google France, it's still showing the same results for my Google location. TripAdvisor, everything has it down here. So what we need to do down here, guys, is we need to go over to Google, OK, dot com forward slash question mark. GL equals and what we're going to do is we're going to type in FR now. OK, and I'm going to go over there. And as you can see, the location now says France. And when I type in the same search query, Chinese restaurant near me, as you can see, now we've got areas and Chinese restaurants in France. OK, which is absolutely awesome, guys. Now, let me show you something else what you can do as well. So let's just go over to Google.com again okay as you can see it's picked up my location again google united kingdom i'm going to type i'm going to do that forward slash uh, sorry i'm going to do the question mark um sorry forward slash question mark gl google location equals us okay and i'm going to do chinese restaurant search down here again okay what i'm going to do now as you can see check these out down here guys what i'm going to do now and as you, as you can see down here guys we've got um I don't know, restaurant reviews and uh, I don't know, Chinese near me and, and, and what have you down here. OK, um, I'm just trying to find a location if there's any location down here. Anyway, you're going to probably be able to see the location from here, guys. Um, some of you guys in the USA probably recognize these Harvard avenues or whatever these areas are. OK, but now let's just say, for example, we wanted to change this so that we wanted to see um, the results from Dallas, for example, a specific city in Google. What we can do here is we can append the URL and add and and near equals and then whatever the city name is. So let me show you how this is done. I'm going to go to the end of the URL. OK, and I'm going to type in and near equals and I'm going to type in Dallas. OK, and I'm going to click on enter. What you can see down here now, guys, is that these have now changed over. When we go down here, we'll be able to find, um, hopefully we'll be able to see something in the title. Here we go. The 10 best Chinese restaurants in Dallas, guys, which is absolutely brilliant, guys. This now allows us to see different cities 
in different countries um, and we actually and we're actually able to do this without proxies okay so what I'm going to do guys I'm going to leave these search parameters for you below this video I'm also going to show you how you can get a list of the Google country locations so for example um, here's a URL down here guys and this shows you all the country codes that Google supports and all you have to do is change over the actual country code like I changed over here um, to US um, when we typed in GL equals US, you just type in something like um, U. If we, you know what we can do? We can actually do this now, guys. Okay, we'll, we'll type in, um, let's look for a country. Let's look for Australia. Okay, so we don't want this Australia. Um, we want this Australia here, AU. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to actually um, uh, um, change this URL to show. Australia um, results but we're going to remove the and near equals Dallas because that's not going to make sense and what we're doing now guys is now we've got results from Australia Sydney um, Labrador and I don't know uh, I don't know wherever these areas are but it's now in Australia guys as you can see from the map down here so anyway I really hope you can take away something from this guys um, especially if you're looking for your own keywords in different Google locations guys and maybe even different cities um, then adding these and appending these URLs now allows you or it was allowing you in the past anyway guys but they weren't really needed um, but this actually allows you to go ahead and get these results from different cities in, in different locations um, and it's really cool it's, it's, it's a cool way to actually have more control over seeing the search results that you want from different locations. So thank you very much and I really hope you enjoy this video.